Hi, my name is Valerie. You're watching the Motopress YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. Motopress is a growing digital project specializing in developing free and premium WordPress plugins and themes for non-tech people and developers. And in today's tutorial, I'll show you how to create a table using the Gutenberg editor. But before we get too far, note that the Gutenberg editor has been integrated directly into the WordPress administrator dashboard as a WordPress version 5.0. It is now the default WordPress editor. It was not that easy to make a table in WordPress Classic Editor. So, with Gutenberg, you can play your Trum card. First of all, log in to your WordPress administrator dashboard. Open an existing draft or create a new page or post. Hover your mouse over the Add Block icon. This is the plus icon in the upper left-hand corner within the Gutenberg block. Click on it to open the blocks list. You will see the option to select the block that you wish to add, and we are looking for the table under the text section. And then we want to click to place it. By default, the block will begin with the two columns and a two-row table. And you're free to determine and enter how many columns and rows will be displayed using the column count and row count drop-down menus. Then push create in order to make the table you want. One second and I'll add some content and be back with a filled in cable. Now let's explore the options that the table block offers in its toolbar. Here we see some standard icons like converting block type or styles and changing alignment. For instance, I want my table to be full width. My theme supports that. Also, we can change the alignment of the text that the table contains and add some text magic. I mean, instead of a regular font, generate a bold or italic version or insert hyperlinks. Additionally, click the small arrow for more useful tools like inlining images or strike through and others. Moreover, it's very easy to change the table so that you can add more rows and columns. Click the Edit Table icon and then make changes to the rows or columns if needed. By clicking the ellipses, you can use such options like duplicate the block or using it as a reusable block. Moving to the table settings, every block has specific options in the editor sidebar in addition to the options found in the block toolbar. The table block is not an exception, beginning with the styles. Styles define the table appearance type and its default style. There are two styles available for tables by default, default and stripes. The regular style has a plain background and borders around the cells. The stripe styles has alternating row background colors and opting for the stripe style you'll be able to add more visual hierarchy and uh, create better comparison tables. But remember, the final appearance of the table may vary uh, depending on your theme. Next, table settings. Enable three toggles that let you set fixed width table cells and adjust header and footer sections. To be more precise, you have the option to tell the table to use fixed width cells, which means rather than adapting the column width to the content of the table, all columns will be equal width. If turned off, 
browsers usually use the automatic table layout algorithm. Now let's turn on the header and footer sections. Two bold sections that definitely might improve the table's look, depending on what type of table you need to build. Then we will add some colors to the text. Such a collection of swatches we have here. And we will add a background to change the appearance of our table with the help of the uh, color palette settings presented. Now let's talk about a typography panel. The default is not to show all these settings. Only the font size selector is always present. To show the other settings, you have to click the three dot icon near the typography text and choose the appearance, letter case, and letter spacing option to make it visible. From the appearance option, you can change the font style's properties. From the letter case option, you can set the font case to uppercase, lowercase, or capitalize. From the letter spacing options, you can set space between each letter of your text. There are two main controls using a predefined font size. The font size selector allows users to select a font size. The font size name shows the name of the font size. The numbers in the size selector uh, corresponds to the font size defined in theme uh, dot JSON. If you want a font size that is not present, you can use the font size picker. It needs to be toggled on to get access. The advanced tab lets you set an HTML anchor and add a CSS class to your blog allowing you to write custom CSS and style the blog as you see fit. So, we're done with the settings, so we can preview the changes and push publish. Congratulations! Now you know how to create a table using the Gutenberg editor. To summarize, the native Gutenberg blog is suitable for comparison and general data presentation tables. You don't need to install any extra plugins and all that using only native WordPress editing experience. However, there are some drawbacks too. For example, uh, limited table tools. I mean, you can't merge or split cells. But if you are looking for more table options in Gutenberg, you might want to download our free Get Rid Gutenberg Blocks add-on. If you haven't heard about Get Rid, Get Rid is a free WordPress plugin which extends the default capabilities of the Gutenberg editor. It includes 40 plus different blocks for multipurpose and 35 plus pre-built templates for different website pages and their sections. But more importantly, it provides the advanced table block, which is an advanced version of the core WordPress table block. It allows you to create responsive WordPress tables and customize them further. The advanced table block, among other standard features, allows you to apply custom colors for the entire table or individual cells. Also, you can merge or split cells, tweak styling for borders, and play with paddings, and more. If your WordPress theme supports different layouts width, you can also make your table a full width as well. My GetRid base theme supports it, so I can make the table full width easily.
All in all, we see Gutenberg has fast-tracked all sorts of customization in WordPress, including such complex things as tables. Now you can, with almost no effort, create responsive tables with the default Gutenberg table block or install an extension like Gatrid for more advanced table settings. I really hope you enjoyed this video, so if you hit a like, I'd really appreciate that. If you want to see more tutorials, then please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. Also, feel free to check out our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter where we share valuable information. As always, I welcome your comments, questions, and feedback. Drop those in the comment section down below. Thanks for spending this time with me. Until the next time, take care.